There are so many kids in this country who look at places like museums and concert halls and other cultural centers and they think to themselves, well, that's not a place for me, for someone who looks like me, for someone who comes from my neighborhood. In fact, oh, I guarantee right you... That's Angela Davis Obama trying to stir up blacks into thinking they're not welcome in concert halls. What an insult it is to... Uh, <laughs> Black people who are concert musicians, black artists, black intellectuals. What an insult these people are. How could you people not accept what I'm saying to you? This is vile. All right, let's take some calls. Nicole on WMAL, where my show is booming. Nicole, welcome to the program. Go ahead and make your point. Thank you. I just think it's incredible, yet not surprising how one-sided white Americans can be. People of color, both indigenous and African descent, have had to be on the defensive side just for human rights still today. White Americans have always... All right, all right, I heard. So you don't like white America. So tell me an African-dominated nation where you would do better. That's, that's not true. I do like white America. No, I just said You just said this is a one-sided nation. The whites dominate and they're racist and they make you feel bad. Is there a nation that is ruled by black people where you might do better that I don't know about? No, that's not what I'm saying. You're missing. Well, that's what you just said. You have a grievance, so tell me where it's where it would be better for you, where you'd feel more comfortable and a better opportunity. Might it be Liberia? I'm a black woman, and I did not feel comfortable going to museums because I felt unwelcome. You want to know why? Because when I go there, I get scared at, I get looked upon, I get followed, I get. Oh, what are you doing? Well, may maybe it's something about your uh, your the way you're going in. What do you mean the way you're, you're followed? What are you talking about? When you go, okay, the museum, for example, for example, I took my girls to the museum. Me and my husband took my our girls. To so what? What do you? What do you want the museums to do? Tell me what would make you feel more comfortable. How I, would you feel more? What would? What would make you feel more comfortable in a museum? I just want human rights, just like everyone else. I, I asked you, what would make you, a black woman, feel more comfortable in whitey museums? If I was left alone. It, it, in order to just look around just like everyone else. I don't need help. I know where I'm going. I don't need to be followed. I don't, I don't understand it. What do you need done? Well, what's your grievance now? What do you want done? What has to happen? What, do you need a special headphone to give you a tour? What is it you want? What are you asking for? I don't understand what you're asking for. What's the matter? The script, the script wore out? The, the, the script that was given to you by some white communist uh, ran out? I mean, I don't understand. I'm asking you, you're on a national radio show. You tell me you're a black woman who's uncomfortable in a, in a museum. What is it that you want done to make you comfortable? Gone. Gone. They, the script is gone. The controller didn't have an answer. The guy behind her with the curly hair and the big eyeglasses from the ACLU didn't have an immediate answer. He gave a one cue card. The second cue card wasn't written yet for the next show. I never heard this before. This is a new one on me, that black people feel uncomfortable in museums. I never even paid attention to people. In fact, when I go to museums, I don't go to look at people, incidentally. Maybe she went there to look at the art instead of worrying how people were looking at her. She wouldn't be worried about how people are looking at her. I've seen people, I've seen people in rags in museums. You know, I remember when I was a kid in New York, I was always a museum going, the natural history at the time. And then when I moved up to the Met and the Guggenheim, and visited them. I would see people in rags. Rag pickers would come to the museum or would down on their luck or through whatever happened to them, they'd be in the museum studying fine art. I'm sure they felt uncomfortable too, but they came there to look at the art, not to worry about how the museum guard looked at them. They look at me, by the way, lady. Hey, lady, you're uncomfortable in museums because they look at you, you're a paranoid lunatic. Let me put it to you that way. Do you know that when I a white man walk around a museum, the guard stares at me, the Filipino guards in the De Young Museum. What do I do, go complain about it and tell them to replace him? That's his job is to stare at people. Do you understand that? But you think he's staring at you, but he's actually staring at everybody. That's the job of a museum guard. But if you are paranoid, if you're by nature a paranoid schizophrenic, or if you are overly sensitive to your race or your height, or you're white, or you're gay, or you're straight, you'll assume they're only looking at you. That's an, that's an extension, by the way, of your own paranoid feelings. Because the guards look at everybody. The guards looking at everybody. And she's a liar that Michelle Obama threw and threw. What a stone liar. 
she grew up in the South Side and was uncomfortable in museums. Don't you remember they put her on the hospital board? Remember that little story? This poor, oppressed minority girl was put on the hospital board? What did they do that for? Because she was uh, Albert Einstein? She made a discovery that no one else had discovered yet in medicine. They had to put her on the board. What a liar. Stop already with this big lie. It's sickening. Chris, welcome to the Savage Nation. Go ahead, please. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Savage? I just want to first tell you that uh, you're highly respected, and I just want to let you know that I'd like to challenge you on your white privilege, sir. I don't understand what you're talking about. Could you make your point? You're trying to be very, very smart and white privilege. Okay, now try to make your college point. I have a simple question. Do you support reparations for the black Americans in the... No, I don't support reparations for anybody. Next question. Okay, then you're part of the problem. Because why, don't you, why, don't you, why don't you start with reparations? you have any extra money in your pocket? Trickle it down, does it not, Mr. Savage? No, I said, do you have any extra money in the bank? No, absolutely not. Well, why not? What, are you stupid? You, you couldn't save any money at this time in your life? You don't even have an extra $100 you can give to a black person? It's because of white privilege. I do a lot. I do what I can. I'm against this white privilege system every day. And tell me, tell me, my friend, where did you pick up this disease, this mental disease? Ah, man, are you going to assault me on the air? But it's okay, though. It's not a disease. No, no, you are, you're a mentally ill white man. If you're buying into the lie of white privilege, you're a mentally ill white man. When the Irish came here, they, they were treated like slaves. Do you know that? Did you know it said Irish, Irish and dogs need not apply? Are you aware of that? Mr. Savage, let's not lose... No, no, don't give me the Mr. Savage garbage. Every race that came here that was poor was picked on. Stop already with buying into this white privilege crap. Your grandfather would be turning over in his grave to know that he produced a weakling like you for a grandson. Mr. Savage, do you know that the blacks are the only ones that were forced to come here? Are you okay with that? Did the Jews have a choice to come here? Why is this all of a sudden a problem? Why is it that the races were moving together until this communist appeared in the White House? And now all of a sudden, all we hear is about grievance, 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 grievance. Are you going to listen, boss? Because Why should I listen to you? You're an ignoramus. What's there to listen to? What have you said that's worth listening to? You've just had the largest audience you're going to have for the rest of your life. No one is ever going to listen to you again. One issue at a time, Mr. Savage. Can we agree that wealth trickled down? Can we agree that in the 50s that blacks were not given a fair opportunity as the whites who were... I, I think that was all fixed in the 60s, wasn't it? No, actually, Dr. King's got a speech about it. That is wasn't it all fixed in the 60s? Excuse me, what world are you living in? Check Dr. King's... Can you show me inequality in this country between any race? Go ahead. Show me the difference in human rights and civil rights between any race in this country right now. Don't talk to me about the past. So is that the difference? That's the difference, Mr. Savage. Well, no, no. I asked you a question. Show me one right, one civil right or human right that a black or a brown person does not have in this country. Name one. You want me to be honest? Civil rights is one of the worst. I just said to you, name one civil or human right that a black person does not have in this country today. I want to know it. Narrative, and I'm, not falling into your narrative I'm asking you to answer the question. The reason you can't is because you know there's no answer that will satisfy your propagandist lie. You are a left-wing fanatic, and you think that by joining your revolutionary buddies over a joint once in a while, you're empowering yourself. All you're doing is imprisoning yourself and keeping yourself down. You'll never move ahead in this country because you're filled with the same hatred that Obama puts in your head. And that's why you're a loser. That's why you don't have an extra hundred dollars to give away to a black person in the street. You couldn't handle being black. Why don't you have an extra hundred dollars to give away to a poor minority? I was going to suggest if you own the house, you should give it away to a gang member. Or you could turn it into a crack den. You should give it away to a crack gang if you feel so bad about yourself. Why are you lecturing everybody else? Give away your money instead. Because I'm hitting the nerve. Only white people talk about things. I don't know who it is. Probably someone just trying to pull my leg. It's good because I just had chocolate ice cream after the heavy meal, and I was feeling a little uh, <clears throat> tired. That stimulated. Help, help digest the chocolate. Actually, it's a non-dairy ice cream. It's very good. I found a new one. It's made of almond milk. Oh, is it good? God. I'm finding I don't even want to drink at night after I have this, this thing. It's like carob. It's the sugar. I know what alcohol is. It converts to sugar. I get it. I have a doctor in the field. <laughs> but uh, I can't sleep at night. That's the problem. If between this show and talking to morons like that. See, the reason he's listening to the show is because he knows I'm right. This is what happens. 
They start out by hating me because I'm touching a raw nerve inside their stupid white heads. These are the kids who went to stupid low-life colleges like Harvard, institutions of lower living. They were lectured to by LGBT psycho leftists from hell. They start to hate their own race. They hate themselves. They come out of school. They don't understand why they can't get ahead. And then they look around. They see the world passing them by. And they start to listen to a show like mine because I'm making sense to them. So they start by hating me. Then they try to debate me. They don't get anywhere. They listen for months. And before long, they're actually agreeing with me. After a year, they call me up and they say that they actually realize I was right all along. They're sorry. They usually get a haircut, they buy new clothing, and they go out and get a job. Before long, they're a human being. They're no longer beating up police horses and breaking the windows of McDonald's on weekends. Okay, that's the story. Savage.